The National HIV AIDS and Sexual Health Program has transitioned into the new Family Health Unit within the Ministry of Health and Social Development. The unit will continue its current mandate, but it now has a broader scope of focus on health for individuals and families in all age groups. I now have a broader scope of work. Um, sexual and reproductive health covers HIV AIDS and other STIs, sexually transmitted infections. But now I'm looking at health for individuals and families across the life cycle. So from birth to death. So for example, antenatal care, um, we look at the health of the unborn child. Um, we do have some policies already in the national guidelines for HIV AIDS that covers some of that, but it's to be expanded. We are focusing also on child health. So for children in the pre primary, preschool, primary ages, we are looking at physical activity, obesity, you know, um, healthy eating. Adolescent health, we are um, the British Virgin Islands, the government of the Virgin Islands signed an agreement with CARICOM heads of state to address teenage pregnancy. It has become a serious concern for the Caribbean and so we are mandated to develop a strategic framework for that. So sexual health among our youth still continues and so we're focusing, uh, zoning in our focus on to sexual health and teenage pregnancy, birth to teenage mothers. The Family Health Unit will develop policies and programs based on the Caribbean Family Health Strategy. The unit has a service level agreement that will allow them to work in collaboration with the BVI Health Services Authority. The new unit is also focusing on adult health for men, women and the elderly. For adult health, we started off collaborating with the Office of Gender Affairs and other community partners in um, commencing men's health programs. So we're actually going to men on their job sites, in their churches, wherever they may be, just to um, ramp up um, health checks and providing information that they may need. So we have men leading that initiative, men who can teach about conflict resolution, violence in relationship, sexual health for men, so many other different topics. For women's health, we plan to start a sister to sister program in September where women can come together and share, get the advice legally, psychologically, support whatever they need in order to function effectively. And um, for elder health, we're looking at healthy aging. We're looking at older persons preparing for retirement and being able to stay healthy even in old age. So we concluded two years ago a healthy aging policy research report that was done by Dr. Christine Glover Waldron. And we, are, we have invited PAHO to come in in September, September 17th and 18th, to meet with stakeholders and to develop a national policy for healthy aging in the Virgin Islands. The Family Health Unit will continue to offer free HIV testing and provide free condoms. It is also working to introduce rapid syphilis testing, as well as other tests to offer a wider range of testing to the public.